Hi everyone, welcome to Live Right Tonight. I'm your host, Kara. And I'm Katie. And we're here to talk to you a little bit today about our AOT program, Assisted Outpatient Treatment. First and foremost, I would like to give you guys the information about our Giving Tuesday program. Um, that will be held November 29th on Facebook. So you can go to our page and donate on Facebook and whatever is donated, Facebook matches that. So it continues to help us to provide free services to the community as we are a nonprofit. Um, also other ways to help us out is by sharing that post, let other people know, friends and family. Um, you can also come up to our building, donate clothing. We do have a clothing boutique. It is starting to get cold out. We could always use items like that. And also our food pantry. You can come and donate canned goods or any other food items to help us out to feed the needy. All right, AOT program. I'll let you start. All right, so AOT stands for Assisted Outpatient Treatment. It's a court-ordered program. Um, it's also known as Kevin's Law. We deal with people that have serious mental illness and substance use disorder. Um, basically, we are a peer-based program. We're the only peer-based AOT program in Michigan. Um, so our clients receive services through peer coaching, um, counseling, therapy. We have a health and wellness coach on staff. Um, we do large groups, individualized groups, small groups. We try to um, meet the needs of every client. Um, we do have a RN case manager. Um, we also have a certified peer and family support coach. Um, you know, we, we offer services to help them become more independent. Um, we're here Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. with them. Um, we just try to, um, I mean, encourage them to be independent in their daily life as possible. We try to be rehabilitative. Um, we work with them to get them to and from their appointments when needed. You know, I've seen many success stories with my past clients. Um, How would you say the curriculum is in the groups, not only just like a small group setting, but like large groups and individual groups as well? So as far as the curriculum goes, um, we try to base it off of what that month is like nationally known for. So whether it's like suicide prevention or maybe if there's a major holiday like Thanksgiving, so like expressing gratitude, things along those lines, we try to keep the theme for the month um, something like uplifting or like yeah. educational to help bring awareness to whatever they may be going through or just to let them know that they're not alone. Um, we do anything from like hands-on activities to um, just like worksheets or groups where we can just talk, you know, that way they're not always doing like homework or something. Um, we try to make it fun. We also do like arts and crafts, things along those lines, just to incorporate like uplifting experiences for them. Now, as far as um, like our health and wellness coach, um, she implements like her own um, curriculum. It's still geared towards what our curriculum is for the month, but she takes the approach from like the health and right. wellness side. Um, so it could be anything from like yoga, meditation, you know, right. stuff like that. And I mean, I see from all aspects like how the clients really benefit from the mm -hmm. different settings, you know, because some clients they do better in a big group because when people talk, it encourages them to talk mm -hmm. or in an individualized group. Um, Sometimes people are more comfortable sharing with just like one or two other people. Right. Sometimes people aren't comfortable sharing in a group at all, so they benefit from their one-on-one -on -one sessions. Or like whatever area we may be lacking in, the other person can um, definitely pick up on and provide our client with the That's services awesome. that they need. So, you know, we really try to cater to the needs of our clients. How would you say like basic life skills are incorporated into that, whether it's like a hygiene course or something like that, healthy eating habits. Do you guys teach things like that? Yeah, so um, in the past we've done like personal hygiene, we've done sex education, nice. um, you know, because a lot of times 
our clients don't ha- know like the risks of mm-hmm. having like unprotected sex or stuff like that or um that it's imperative to take care of yourself you know yeah. daily um so they don't realize that like showering can improve your mental health you know mm-hmm. something as small as that um we even have done like a little cooking like no bake cookie class with them so they can understand how to measure things follow a recipe follow nice. directions in a sense now what about i know that you mentioned that um how would somebody become a participant in this program so they would have to be petitioned through the court now um their parent could petition them or maybe their therapist or whoever it may be would have to petition them through the court they have to meet um certain criteria and then once they're put on an aot order they would be able to come to our program um so depending on their diagnosis um if they're meeting the criteria you know we're If anybody has questions, we're always here to answer them because everybody's situation is different. Yeah, it's not a one-size-fits-all kind of thing, which is understandable. Um, What about, I know, you know, severe mental illness, as well as any mental illness, comes with, like, medication. Do you guys kind of stress the importance of them being on their medication and all that? Yes, um, we stress the importance of being on medication. Now, if they're on an AOT order, they are supposed to be taking their medication Mm -hmm. as well. Sometimes they do not. Um, so we encourage medication compliance. Um, if they're not, sometimes they have to go back to the hospital. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's why we do offer transportation to their appointments in case they need injections or a medication review. Right. Um, I mean, the thing we can do yeah. to help them along, right? And we try to tell them, too, like, medication is not a fix-all. You need to take your medication. You need to participate right. in groups. You need to... Um, utilize the coping skills that we teach you here because it all goes hand in hand with each other. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Katie. You've done a great job of explaining it. If thank anyone you. has further questions about our AOT program or any of the services we offer here, please check out our website or give us a call. Thanks.